Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Aaron Wilson jumping back on YouTube to give you an update on how the NFL all day marketplace opening went down and it actually did go down today. So we have some good news. There's a bunch of sales going on already that we're super excited about. And let's give you a little update on what's going on there. So the first thing that I want to tell you is the fact that it was live for about an hour and a half. So I was on the site trying to purchase a couple items on the lower end to see what would happen. And I kept on getting an error message kind of over and over and over again. So I did eventually, if I picked an item that was more expensive. So for instance, talking about an item that was like, let's say the low price was at like three or $4. If I went up all the way up to the $20 range, I could actually add the item and buy it. I didn't move forward with it. Again, I want to preface this by saying, look, this is kind of a wait and see approach. We don't know what the market's going to be like. It would be nice to get in at the ground floor with the cheapest, cheapest price. Um, but that was really tough to do today. And I'm not sure who was able to get in and swoop them in. Um, but I would definitely wasn't one of the guys that were able to get uh, any one dollar or five dollar moments is kind of what i was going after just to kind of test it out so it was open for about an hour and a half and in the hour and a half they had almost a million dollars worth of sales and let's break down how they were able to do it so first let's go ahead and um get my face off the screen and go full screen with um nfl all day um you'll see at the top of the screen if you're on uh, there now at the very top if i scroll up they're going to take a little bit of a pause so what they said in twitter and in discord which would be definitely the first two places that i would check out is the fact that they were going to test to see what went down for the first hour and any improvements that they need to make which i really appreciate after going through a day that we're waiting for sales and nothing happened nothing happened nothing happened so that's the first good news um there's not much of an update besides that on the nfl all day site what we want to do is we want to look at a specific moment and the sales that happened for that moment so i'm a big 49er fan so i'm going to go Debo samuel so if i type in Debo samuel and click on the Debo, we're going to go to his championship moment. So this is definitely one of the moments that I was trying to get um, for anywhere between a dollar to five dollars and I wasn't able to purchase it. And if you look right now, there are a couple for five bucks, seven bucks, eight bucks, nine bucks, nine bucks, ten bucks, ten bucks, um, and then up there from that. So I think that's still a reasonable price for his moment just as a guess on my end. Again, this is not financial advice. I feel like if you can scoop this up for $10, you're going to get a nice little value out of that to keep it when they end up doing flash challenges, just, just like they're doing on NBA Top Shot or just to have the moment for yourself or your collection. I think 10 bucks is a pretty, pretty good steal. So you're looking at Devo with this specific moment and you're seeing, you know, a pretty low floor of $5. But again, that's going to be tough for you to be able to end up getting those specific moments but you got a, a, a small little floor but then you're going up from there pretty pretty quickly but it's in the 20s 30s and 40s all right so let's see what's going on in terms of the pricing so in order to do that i'm going to use evaluate market so i'm going to pop open evaluate market this is a great place for you to monitor if you don't know about evaluate market i would get on it right away this is a great place for you to monitor stuff in nfl all day ufc strike top shot and a variety of other different nfts so if i scroll down a little bit i'm going to click on all day and here's the good news so we can see right here in this middle section that there are nine hundred seventy two thousand twelve dollars worth of sales to date now there were a couple initial transactions that went down initially so this 900 grand probably isn't exactly to the point of what happened today in this hour and a half but it's pretty close and that's off of 11,303 transactions that you see here on the right hand side so that equivates out to about 85 dollars average between you know the lower price items all the way up to the price price item so what we want to do here is we want to check out Debo. so i'm going to do is i'm going to search for nfts in this middle section so i'm going to type in Debo samuel and then come up here and i'm going to go to his conference championship one that we were looking at before so if i click on that and evaluate market it's going to be get, able to give me a lot of great information so if i scroll down you'll see the listing prices just like we saw before and who the owner is and the listing time and then if we keep on going down we will see in a second it's going to populate with sales over time and transactions over time so I know I saw a comment from Evaluate Market that they're still in the process of figuring this whole thing out. So 
we'll give them a little bit of time um, with the transactions and sales over time and transactions over time. But you can scroll down a little bit farther and see pricing and what stuff sold for. So you get the sale price, let's go to the highest. So $200 for a 70 serial number, which is a pretty low serial number. So you got 200 bucks, 150, 125, 100, 100, 99, 90, 75. Again, talk about a serial number that isn't amazing, you know, 33, 41, nothing special about it, all the way down to 90 bucks. We scroll all the way down, we'll be able to see, actually it doesn't have access to every single sale on here. Actually, let's flip the sale price. So let's flip the sale price the other way around. So the cheapest one sold for $4 to Deep Rock, and a busy elephant for five bucks. So a couple of people were able to get there at four or five bucks, and a couple at seven, and then it goes up, you know, from there pretty consistently, a couple of dollars here and there. I'm gonna refresh this page. Maybe it's my internet connection. So I did just see this a couple of minutes ago. Again, we want to see the sales numbers over time if possible. And if not, it's not that big of a deal. Come scroll down. All right, so they're still not there. So it's, it's just a nice, usually a nice little graph here. We'll, we'll go check out another um, item as well to see what's going on. All right, so let's go back to NFL all day. We go back to NFL all day, go to marketplace. All right, let's go for the GOAT. Let's go Tom Brady, see what happened with him. I assume he's going to be the most expensive on here. All right, we'll go. Let's go for the most expensive one, which is going to be his rare out of 1200. So I click on the Tom Brady. All right, so right now, the lowest price that you can get for right now is $1,900. The serial of 183, and it goes way up from there. You know, thousands and thousands, it's, it's changing. All right, so we do have some recent purchases that you see available on NFL all day. You have five grand, five grand, 2,200, 3,500, 3,100. So this is what I'm talking about. So this is a big fluctuation. So you really have to be careful with the amount of money that you're putting in this stuff. If you're gonna have value out of that. Will that person that spent $5,000 on that Tom Brady will go up from there? I mean, that's a decent chance with this being a, a rare, but will go down from there. That's also a decent chance as well. So you just have to be careful when it comes to that. So let's go back to the value market and let's look at this Tom Brady. Let's go back to the value market. I'm gonna go to the top section. I'm gonna go Tom Brady. Not Tom Brady fee. Tom Brady, there you go. All right, so it gives you some good numbers over here. Just one other highlight I want to pull to you guys. Total remaining and total in circulation. So you have 1,200 that are currently in circulation for this specific moment. All right, here we go. There, here we go, sales over time. All right, so this gives you a nice little plot chart of what the sales are going for. So you got $6,900. 23, 48, 2000 at the low end, 2000 again at the low end, up end. but look at this variation. Um, 35 sales in one day for this specific moment. All right, so that just gives you some base information on kind of what went down in the first hour and a half. They said that they were gonna be pausing the line. So this was at, they stopped at about 2.30. They went from about one o'clock to 2.30 and they paused it for an hour. So right now my time is about 3.05. She could be going back up around 3.30 or, or four o'clock or so. And we'll kind of see what happens with the marketplace. Again, I would really emphasize and suggest watch, see what happens see how the market figures out in the next couple of weeks to really see where the value is and where you can get in for all the variety of moments that you're interested in for your collection. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got a little bit of information about it. I'm super excited about the marketplace being open. I was pumped for yesterday and I was really disappointed it didn't go down. So I'm excited it went down today, even though I didn't buy any, that's fine. But just taking a look at the market and checking it out is great. So if you liked the video, you got something out of it, I really appreciate you to subscribe and hit that like button. And if there are any questions you have for me or anything you want me to cover on upcoming videos, please throw it in the comment section. And then one last plug, please follow me on Twitter. I'm gonna be doing weekly giveaways of NFTs. Right now we're doing a Top Shot giveaway for LeBron James. And you just need to retweet my last tweet about the giveaway 
and also you need to donate one dollar to a charity of your choice so a little something i'm trying to do just try to give back a little bit to the community as, as in general so if you're interested in that please check me out on twitter and if not i will check you out on the next video take care see ya